Hey, it's uh, Third Degree from ThirdStop.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little video on how to layer and filter your sample to just add depth. It's something that you always hear people talking about, especially on like forums and stuff, how I layer this, layer that, filter this, filter that, but oftentimes people aren't really clear as to exactly what they're doing. So I'm going to take this beat that's relatively simple in terms of how much I filtered it. I only filtered it three times or I have the original sample that I filtered another thing I layered behind it in a filtered baseline and uh, just kind of show you the difference in how it sounds so I'm gonna start by doing is taking um, basically I'm gonna go to my main melody I'm gonna take out all my filtering and then I'm gonna mute everything else so I'm gonna just solo the um, the melody right here with the drums So I'm going to add my EQ and my filter back to that sample, um, which is the main melody. So this is uh, basically what I have right here is um, I basically uh, just EQ the sample to my liking and low cut it or high pass it, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one just happens to be at... 281 hertz. I'll try to keep it just out of the subwoofer range. Um, so it could be anywhere from, you know, 150 to 300 or more if it sounds good still. So uh, you filter out the low end of the sample. So now you hear it. Here's the filter off. Now obviously you lose the bass, but I filtered out my bass line, so I think it's this one. I've already showed you how to do this before. Um, but basically what this is, is I low pass the filter, made a mono, and EQ'd it to my liking. So then you have... So then that fills up your low end and then what I like to do is uh, another filter which I'll solo so this is just a direct copy of the melody put a phaser on some reverb and I high passed it even higher than the other one just to kind of and this is just to kind of give it some some added depth so is how it sounds without it mute it so it gives a sort of airy feeling and like I do this all the time um, like here's an example of one where I filtered a lot more um, you can see I have four tracks right here they're all the same I can't I'm not gonna go through it again but uh <laughs> Just a way to add instead of having just the 
and it might be too subtle for YouTube to pick up but just try it out um you know copy your main melody and then you know put a high pass filter on it and add some effects to it see if it sort of gets the vibe you want put a low pass filter on try to make a baseline um, I have a video on that if you want to learn how to use your sample to make bass lines that way you use your sample over and over the way you want to instead of having to use another sample or even um, you know compose and then try to get your your guitar VST or your guitar sound bank sound to sound just right just you know use one that's already in the sample that was you know has the same tone has the same feel etc so yeah definitely check it out try it out have fun with it and um, then check out thirdstop.com as always all right peace